One, two, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here to preach the gospel. We know that homosexuality is an abomination unto the Lord. I'm glad you all here today to get this gospel. Sodomites will be judged. I'm here. I must be here in the right place. What's going on here? Oh, this stuff is crazy. Kids, homosexuality is an abomination unto the Lord Jesus Christ. What in the world going on? Let me read you some passages. Lee, uh, y'all better find Jesus Christ quick. All right. We're going to go to Leviticus. Says, I don't want you to think I made this up. We're going to go to Leviticus. Ladies, there are men out there for y'all. God made man and woman. I ain't never met a man and man love where they recreate. I ain't never seen that. What in the world going on? Love y'all too. God bless every single one of y'all. We hope you all come to Christ. This whole event is not of God. And I'm sure y'all know that. This is all of the devil. Homosexuality is an abomination unto the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 15 says, For a spiritual man judges all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. Look that up when you get home, young lady. Leviticus 18 verse 22. Who raised you, a wild animal? What in the world going on? You got a little kid talking like a curse and acting a fool. What has happened to society? And you know what? They are, they are proving this in school. They are proving in school homosexuality. Look, this is abom I can't believe you got your kids uh, uh, practicing abomination. That's sick. You need Jesus. You know, God's going to judge you for bringing those kids to homosexuality stuff, teaching judging, them abomination. And you're judging by doing you that. should be ashamed of yourself. Leviticus 18, 22. I want you to get your Bible out, young lady. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Jesus talked about homosexuality, too. Did you know that? You want me to read that scripture to you, too? Whether it's in the Old Testament or whether it's in the New Testament, it's still God's word and it don't go away. God burned down the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah as a warning to all who practice homosexuality. God burned them down. And if you want to go to Sodom and Gomorrah, go check it out. It was a warning to all who practice homosexuality. Y'all need to wake up. Y'all gonna burn in hell. Burn in hell. Burning. Burning. You don't want to burn in hell for doing the wrong things. Chasing after your perverted sexual lust. This is perverted. Terrible. Why you wear a shirt like that? You a grown man. Come on, man. What's wrong with y'all? Women out here dressing half naked. Showing off your breast and showing off your butt. What in the world going on here? Who taught you? Who raised y'all? A little kid. Maybe 15, 16 years old. Got her butt cheeks all lot. God said to dress modestly. That's what God said to do. God told you to dress modestly. Not dress like a whore. Dress like a hoe. What's going on with the world? I mean, it's really sad. They think I really care about this. I've been, I've been, I see all kinds of people like this. 
Did you know that a man in a woman's dress it is an abomination unto the Lord? Did y'all know that? Look, look at him. Put this on the news. Put this on the news. This is crazy. I mean, I met, I met, imagine me going to y'all talking like that, talking about I got love. Y'all lost. Christians don't hate nobody. In fact, you can't be a Christian and hate somebody. Let me tell you something. I love every single one of y'all. Every said, that's why I'm out here. I could be chilling on the beach, sitting in my pool, chilling, sipping a cup of waters. Not sipping Coronas. I appreciate that. And hey, let me tell you something. Look, look. You see there? This is a product of sin. Product of sin. Don't ever judge somebody on the base of their they belly. You don't know what I've been through, young lady. And you need to start acting like a young lady, not a man. You're a woman. God made you, God from the beginning of creation, made them man and woman. He didn't make no woman to be a man. He didn't make no man to be a woman. He made man and woman. What's wrong with the way God made you? Did he make a mistake? Did he make a mistake, young lady? Did he make a mistake that you're a woman? You ain't got to act like a man. You ain't got to... You can curse me. Listen, I don't got to kill rest. <laughs> oh, that don't mean nothing to me. I heard worse. I heard worse. You think I ain't heard words before? Bye. I'm from the hood. Bye. All right. Back to the word. I'm going to read, read the scripture for you. Leviticus 18, 22. Oh, hey, 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 it's not that, don't, don't, don't touch me. You're going to go to jail. Leviticus 18, 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Homosexuality is an abomination unto the Lord. God loves everybody, but he hates the sin, unfortunately. Hell Satan. Satan is not Satan is is gonna lead you straight to hell. Satan's gonna lead you straight to hell. Satan don't love you. Satan don't love y'all. Have fun. Satan go that that's a good rainbow. That's what God made. The covenant. Let's read about that. Genesis chapter 9, verse 3. Is that your coloring book? Don't touch me. Oh, give me, give me, give me my distance, young lady. Oh no, you give, you give everyone your verbal. We love you. You know, interest because you didn't say that. We love right? you. Well, you didn't say that. I'm telling y'all, love you. That's why I'm here. I love you too. Man. No, no. Uh, no. If I didn't love you, I'd let you go to hell on your own. Just say nothing. You're already there, buddy. Gen name. Genesis chapter nine, verse seven. We're gonna read about what the rainbow really means. You can't take something and make it yours. What the heck going on with this world? The rainbow don't represent homosexuality. It represents what God did for us. And I'm going to show y'all. Jesus never said that. All right. Wrong. Wrong. It's not correct. Uh, the only thing that's true in this world is the word of God. Did you know that y'all got all your information from the word of God? Not your 1980 science book? Bet y'all didn't know that, did y'all? Look, we got, we even got, we even got the world going with y'all. Ain't this crazy? Right to see an abomination. Sir, you should be ashamed of yourself. You shouldn't be participating in this. Don't you know God is watching? Man, that, 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 that's sick. What are you screaming on? You got a family, and you teaching them that? Come on now. Come on, boss. All right, back to the word. Let's talk about the, uh, the rainbow means. And I will establish a covenant with you. Neither shall all... Uh, 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 make sure y'all get your Bibles out. We are in Genesis. Ah, uh, no thank you. Uh -huh. Ma'am, I'll put that in my thing. Hey. Hey, next time one of y'all do that, I'm going to call the police over here. You can't touch my stuff like that. Oh. Uh, Oh, matter of fact, let me get that. <laughs> openly gay Christian. Ain't no such thing as an openly gay Christian. No, you ain't no Christian. Don't lie to yourself. You lying to yourself. Oh, let me tell you another thing. Abortion is murder. I know y'all never heard of that before. 
A person is murdered. This to me, hey, listen, this is a, this, this is a person that says she openly homosexual and a Christian. We gonna stop on that. Stop on it. Well, it's, 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 it's foolishness. It ain't your body. You didn't, you didn't give no baby no life. What's wrong with y'all? Who taught you that? Who taught you that? Who taught you that? Who taught you that? The teacher? The teacher's a liar. You tell her I said that. Tell her come see me. My name is Kurt Lowe. Abortion is murder. I want y'all to all hear me. No such thing as a homosexual Christian. Can you imagine such blasphemy? Hey, did you see that person throw that stuff at me? Security guard? Your job is to protect me, man. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, so we got the homosexuals out here practicing abomination. All this stuff is an abomination unto the Lord. You're going to burn in hell if you don't change your lifestyle. I know more ex-homosexuals than I know actual homosexuals. No, I, I know, I got testimonies of them. They didn't turn from their life. They've been delivered by Jesus. Yet y'all living over here practicing perverted sexual lust. That's what it is. Chasing after your sexual Ain't nothing about this love. Ain't nothing about this love. Marijuana, now they got drugs over here. What in the world going on with y'all? Drinking. It's so crazy. What's wrong with y'all? Who raised y'all? You, you want to take a picture? You can take a picture over here. You ain't got to do it behind me. Not, not, not touching me, no. <laughs> I love you and all, but I don't want that homosexual spirit come up on me. I don't want that devil stuff to come up on me. Let's just be real. So, so let me let me explain this to y'all. I know y'all not getting educated in schools. Y'all not getting educated in the schools, so we gonna go ahead and educate you now, kids. I'm glad y'all here. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're right here, all y'all. Put some clothes on first of all. All right, this is disrespectful to your parents. I mean, you got child molesters out here. Amazing. God said you got to dress modestly. Yeah, I would too. Uh, all right. Back to the scriptures, y'all. We're gonna read some more. We're gonna go to Leviticus. Get your Bibles out. Boy, this is wicked over here. Oh, hold on, I gotta get a drink of water. Is that all right with y'all? I get a drink of water. Lady Gaga is a devil from hell. Teaching your kids it's okay to be a homosexual. This stuff crazy, man. This stuff crazy. I don't think I've ever seen something so foolish. You, you can tell we living in the end time. Everybody up there, repent. You with the hair, looking like a man. Uh, you a man dressed like a woman. Repent. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13. That's a, that's a prodigal sin. That's a prodigal sin. See, I, I smoked and drank my whole life. I was a fool. I'm going to go ahead and give you my testimony. I drank and smoked my whole life. I chased after whores like this over here in this place. Chasing after harlots. Half naked women. We thought they were easy. You know what I'm saying? You know, especially it showed that you ain't got no morals. No morals. You know, we need parents in this world to teach y'all how to dress. And it's it's shameful. I would never let my daughter dress like y'all. Especially you. That's foolish. Foolish. My, my kids would never dress like that. Mm -mm -mm. Dress like a like a prostitute. Don't you know that God said there's an attire to a harlot? Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. Satan don't love you. Satan don't love you. I see a lot of young kids being with the homosexuality spirit. I feel sad for y'all. Hell awaits y'all. You know hell is 24-7 torture. 24-7 torture. 
Okay. It's not a place for anybody. Homosexuality is an abomination unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Whether y'all like to hear that or not, I could care less. Y'all not gonna y'all not gonna influence me on the devil. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lie with woman, both of them have committed an abomination. Abomination, they shall surely be put to death. You're going to be put to death. That's how they did in the Old Testament. They stoned you to death for acting prideful. Pride, the pride, the devil. We know the devil is pride. Homosexuality is an abomination, ladies and gentlemen. You need to find you a real man. You need to find you a real man. You don't need a man acting like a woman. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. No matter how bright try you try to look like a man, you ain't never going to be a man. Because you know why? Oh. Let me educate y'all. I know you're not getting this in biology class. You're not getting this in biology class. I got y'all. Do you have a high school diploma? A man. Hold on. I think I got a word from Jesus. Here we go. A man. If you ever get confused, if you're a man or a woman, look below your belly button for confirmation. Men got a penis and women have vaginas. I know this is hard for y'all. Some of y'all non-binary or what in the hell y'all call yourselves. You can call yourself a purple dinosaur. Don't mean you're a purple dinosaur. You can call yourself a prophet. Don't mean you're a prophet. A man. A man. I mean, this is crazy. Y'all need to pay attention. Listen. No one's paying attention to you. Listen to what the word of God says, y'all. If a man lie with mankind as he lie with womankind, it is an abomination. I feel sorry for some of you officers, man. I love y'all. You know God's going to judge y'all for being at this event. Y'all should have never came to this event. Never. Never. This is homosexuality. This is what God hates. Y'all should have called out today. God, you're going to answer to God for standing in this place. You're going to stand in this place. God said all murderers go to hell. Did y'all know that? A woman that aborts a child. That can, uh, uh, can you imagine how wicked we become? Where mothers would kill their own children? Mother, they would kill their own children kill their own children can you imagine the wicked world we living in nobody said raping incest is okay what are you talking about who taught you that is that your church church master taught you that uh do y'all go to let me ask y'all quick let me, let me ask y'all quick because i think i think watch out oh, see look god gonna hurt god look what god doing y'all better be careful y'all better look around all right. All right. <laughs> you can never shut me up if you wanted to. I want y'all all to hear me. See, when you're with God, God make you bold as a lion. That's why we're here today. We ain't scared of nothing. Fear nothing. Fear nothing. I feel sorry for some of y'all. That's why I'm here. Somebody got to. Somebody got to tell y'all the truth. Listen, they banning us on social media, but they can't ban me on the street. It's a public space right here. I could be here all day, every day. I want y'all to understand, I love y'all very much. I don't want to see none of y'all go to hell. All right? If I wasn't out here, I wouldn't love y'all. Love tells the truth. Love doesn't lie to you. God said it's an abomination. It's an abomination. No way around that. God said all murderers go to hell. Those that are born children are murderers. Stop opening your legs to everything walking. Stop being a whore. God said, now y'all might have to say, well, you can't say whore. Well, whore is in the Bible. <laughs> Did y'all know that? Whore is in the Bible. Let me go to it. 
Who the writer? Hey, everybody get their Bibles out, especially y'all Bible children right there. Do the writer me. She was a virgin. See, that's what's missing in today's society. No, no parents. No parents teaching y'all the right things. Teaching y'all homosexuality is okay. Foolish. We're living in such a devil world. So bad. Everybody pay attention. Get your Bibles out. Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 17. Remember this when y'all get home tonight. Let's see, listen to this. 23, 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Y'all know what a sodomite is? It's somebody who practices anal sex. I want y'all to hear that loud and clear. Education 101 today. We're going to be here. Education 101. Listen. What you mean? What's that? They're going to hell, so we got to be here to show them the truth, unfortunately. We don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. You think I want to be at this wicked, perverted event here? Hey, y'all going to do something? Do what? You can shake your head, no? You don't have to enforce the law? No. What's your, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all stay right here. Y'all stay right here. What's your name and badge number, sir? We are here to make sure everybody is protected. Well, I'm not being protected. I got people coming up to me close, throwing stuff at me. We're, we're gonna walk. All right. Nobody's going to touch you. Thank you, guys. I, I, I appreciate it. What's your badge, badge number, sir? What's your name? Get the, sir, I need your last name. Oh, all right. I got to make sure I got to lawyer. Make sure that nobody Thank touches you. you. All right. So, if y'all could send somebody over here, put a gate up. Uh, it doesn't matter to me, whatever y'all want to do. But please, man, I can't have these people uh, 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 putting hands on me. You're not, you're not enforcing it. And then he's shaking his head like nothing wrong. Hey, check it out, Coburn. Yes, go. sir. Let's get it real good, all right? You yes, ready? sir. I'm all listening right. to you. Check it out. What's, your, what's your name and badge number? Caldwell? Caldwell. 9029. Nine gotcha. Right here, all right? Listen to me. Uh huh. As long as you're on this corner, you're speaking freely, right? Yes, sir. You're expressing your personal number right. Absolutely. You have no problem with that. Just make okay? sure that y'all protect me, man. Uh, listen to me. Listen. You, you I'm from the hood. Over. You're talking over. Uh -huh. I'm from the hood, too. Hey, it's home. So right. that's that what I'm saying. I, I, I'm used to. Listen, <laughs> listen to me. All right, go ahead. Listen to me. You're talking over me. Go ahead, man. You don't run me, all right? Just tell me what you're saying, what you got to say. Just tell me what you got to say, brother. Listen to me, man. Look at I'm here to help you out. All right, so protect me when I'm over here. Listen to me. You're still trying to talk over me. Brother, just I say what you got to say. I'm trying to, but you keep talking over me. All right, right? I'm going to go back over there. When you're ready to talk to me, I'm I'm, I'm ready to talk to you. Talk. If you're ready to listen. As long as you're on this corner doing your thing, you're good. If anybody tries to do anything to you, we I got him on camera. See how you keep running over me, man? All right, brother. God bless you. you just, just, just watch over me, all right? You got Thank you. you. you got God bless you. You're See, we respect the police. Your God is not we respect real. the police. That's we don't fake. we don't go uh, 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 disrespecting the policemen and all this Your other God stuff. These That's people are here to serve and protect you. You're crazy. Now you see this brother right here. You're crazy. You're not doing nothing about it. Your God is not real. That shit is fake. These people can do whatever they want. You see what they doing? You're just an insane lunatic. That's all it is. You're they watching y'all. Be, be careful. You're brainwashed. That's all it is. All right, God. Insane. All right, God. Let me go ahead and explain it to you. I'm not worried about none of y'all hitting me. Your mama First of all. Told you that. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that I'm not worried about none of it. I'm just going to put you in jail. Anybody that touch me going to jail. Y'all hear that? We're not violent. Anybody that touch me going to jail. I got the camera right here. Y'all get as close as y'all want to me. I want y'all all to come over here. <laughs> All right, Leviticus. I used to be a Christian. Oh, oh, really? What happened? You know what? You read, you read something that right, he didn't put his hands on me. You read something that he didn't put his hands on me. You ain't gonna do nothing? You read something that he didn't put his hands on me. Please calm down now. Come on now. Another man wrote I'm gonna stand down. over here so y'all can see me. Who the right of me? Do the right to me. Get your Bible out. All right, y'all. Yo, why don't you leave then? What you doing over here? Nobody, I ain't calling you to come over here. Do the right to me. 20. You know what? We don't go to Romans. Hey, hey, watch, watch out, bro. Watch out, man. All right. Put that stuff over there. Because we don't trust y'all. We know y'all corrupt. All right. Romans. Romans. Everybody get their Bibles out. Everybody get their Bibles out. 
We're going to go to Romans chapter 1, y'all. All right, we're going to go to verse 26. You know, I never, I, you know, we living in a society where they would disrespect God's word. So sad. So sad. You're foaming at the mouth. Let me, let, me, let me wipe myself. Hold on. All right. Back to what we were talking about. Romans chapter 1, verse 25 and 26. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affections. Vile affections. All right. Vile affections. For even the women did change the natural use. The women change the natural use. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural lust of the woman burned in their lust one another. Burn. Burn. Burn in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly, meaning it's unruly, meaning it's not natural. Why are you stuttering? Homosexuality is an abomination unto the Lord. So sad. So sad. Maybe we. Yeah, y'all think that y'all think that affects me. Y'all, I mean, y'all, y'all really think I care? You think I care? What you do on your personal time, I can care less about. Homosexuality is an abomination unto the Lord. And we're going to preach that to the world. We're going to preach this to the world. You could have stayed home. Read the Bible at home. Make sure y'all pay attention. Uh -huh. All the kids, I want y'all to listen to me. Abortion is an abomination unto the Lord. It's murder. 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 All murderers will have their part in the lake of fire, which burning with fire and brimstone. Man, it's hot out here, huh? Y'all got some water? Y'all got some water? Why y'all not showing no love? Y'all don't love nobody. Y'all don't love nobody. Where's my water at? I mean, y'all, I got a big audience over here. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. We hope that y'all make it to heaven. Uh, uh, I'll burn that <laughs> before I touch that thing. Uh, so, uh, the flag. Let's talk about the flag right here that y'all stole. I don't know what, what that means. Let's talk about the flag here, ladies and gentlemen. The flag is an abomination to the Lord. Listen, young lady, you ain't got to be a, look like a man. What's wrong with y'all? You ain't got to look like a man. What's wrong with y'all? A man is a man and a woman is a woman. A man is a man and a woman is a woman. If y'all ever get... Hey, they still bother at me, man. All right. Before you finish, hold on, before you finish, have you ever read no. the Bible in its entirety? Oh, man, let me, I got I to go through you. Read, no, have you ever read the Bible in its entirety? Have you ever read the Bible in its entirety? I'm pretty sure. Don't worry about it. Look, I'm sure you have to put your wife before marriage, right? Have you ever read the Bible in its entirety? Have you ever read the Bible in its entirety? Hey, look, I'm pretty sure you have to put with your wife Look at this before love here. marriage. It's some love in it. I'm right. pretty sure you have to marry me. You're not going to marry me. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, What's the question? Look, that's your scared to find it. God said don't judge. What's the question? God said don't judge. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 15 says, A spiritual man judges all things. Listen, you're a man. Stop acting like a woman. Okay. Okay. The Bible is a man. Stop acting like a woman. Chapter 22, verse 5. The woman 
shall not wear. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord. You would have, okay, okay, wait a minute, no, 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 Calm down. The Bible also says no sex before marriage, right? The Bible also says no sex before marriage. Everybody cry. Everybody has that. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay, so I can charge you. Because I'm pretty sure you had sex with your wife. I appreciate the wife. You had a child out of wedlock. Okay. Nah, I'm single. Okay. I can charge you, though. I'm single. You had it. But you can't have it. But you had a child. But you got children, though, out of wedlock, though. I don't have no children. You a damn man. You can't judge us. You show her, oh, liar, liar. Oh, 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 there, daddy, the but devil. Oh, liar. liar. Let me show you that book. It's a sin for you to judge us, though. You have a sin for you to judge us, though. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. You can't judge us. You're not God. You're not God. You can't judge us. What are you mad at? Why are y'all mad? You can't judge us. You seem like you're the only one that got some sense. You're the only one that got some sense. Hold on, I'm getting hot. You said you got some You ain't got no sense, you think you're the son? All right. I'm pretty sure I've seen him on Jack. All right, y'all. Hold on. Don't go nowhere. Somebody told me that in the Bible. Told you what? The Bible is bullshit. The Bible contradicts itself over and over again. The Bible ain't never contradict. Don't ever listen to the devil. Look at this. Oh, look at the devil. <laughs> oh, look around with you. Your mama. Oh, oh, you better find Jesus before you leave. I hope you ain't a homosexual wearing Jesus around your neck like that. <laughs> but Jesus loves everybody. Jesus hates abomination of homosexuality. We're not, we're not an abomination. All right. No, I, oh, oh, he asked me a question. Hold on. Jonathan and King David were fucking up. Hold on. Jonathan and King David were fucking up. Jonathan and King David were fucking up. Hold your horses. Jonathan and King David were fucking up. He asked a question. What is the question? Nobody cares. He asked me, do I have any gay friends? That would be an N-O, all right? I have ex, I know more ex-homosexuals than I know actual homosexuals. Ex-homosexuals. I got testimony. Testimony. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. How many months pregnant are you? Twelve disciples. How many months pregnant are you? I need Jesus. How many months pregnant are you? How many months pregnant are you? How many months pregnant are you? Get it out. Get it out. What you got to say? How many men have got your dick? Uncle Daddy. You got an uncle Daddy. Make a lot of sense. This is the kids nowadays, y'all. All right. The kids. Oh, women. Oh, you are here dressing like harlots. Harlots. Whores. You call me a whore? Nobody called you a whore specifically. If the shoe fit, then you a whore. All right. One Timothy chapter two. All right. One Timothy chapter two. Y'all listen up. Hey, y'all getting too loud over here. Y'all getting too rowdy. Y'all getting too rowdy. Nobody cares. All right. That's my girlfriend. You just called a horse. I didn't call nobody a horse. So don't ever say that. Yeah, I said if the shoe fits, then you a whore. You're a whore. I didn't call nobody a whore. That means you're trying to be the whore. One Timothy. Dumbass. One Timothy chapter two. In like matter, we in one Timothy chapter two verse nine. Y'all get your Bibles out. I know y'all didn't go to church today, uh, tomorrow, and you ain't gonna act like you of God. 
Nigga, I got to every goddamn motherfucking day. Don't you ever motherfucking say that shit. Just because, just because I'm gay don't mean I don't go to church and don't mean God What you going to church for? You a homosexual. Who gives a fuck? God don't give a fuck what I am. God don't give a fuck who the fuck I sleep with. Let me help y'all out. Ain't no such thing as a homosexual Christian. Whoever taught you that is a liar. Whoever taught you that is a liar. Except for you. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My pastor gay, stupid. <laughs> so shut the fuck up. Ain't no my pastor gay. My pastor homosexual. My pastor homosexual. And he closer to God than you are. Hey, 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 I gotta watch my step though, hold on. Nah, you good, you good. I, I got I got on your stuff. All right. So basically what they want to do is make sure you separate. All right, cool. Just to keep you safe. I'm not gonna move from here. If they wanna put a gate right here, that's fine. But that's them, that's not me. All right, I got you. I got you. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you guys. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> Wait, what? Thank you. No, I'm not leaving. Uh, I got this my I'm exercising my freedom of rights. They can't do that. Hang out here for just a second. Yes, sir. We're going to sit and talk, okay? All right, cool. But yeah, we just, what we're trying to do is keep everybody safe. Okay? Absolutely. We're not trying to intend tonight. If, if you want to put a gate right here, that's fine. Yeah, or somebody, yeah, get yeah, two yeah. or three people, because they, they, they are, they're acting a fool. Well, no, no, no. I understand that two wrongs don't make it right either. Okay? I'm not doing nothing wrong. Okay, but hold on. Just relax. All right, don't, don't say that. Okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go back to preaching to it when y'all, whenever y'all ready, all right? No, 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 come on. Hold on, I gotta get my stuff. I got it right here. Come 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 I'm not turning off my camera. No, can, no keep your camera uh, on. Keep, keep your camera on. Because I got my lawyer paying understand. attention to this. Okay. So, do you also have a permit as well, sir? Uh, permit for what? For your uh, amplifier. Is it going? What's the uh, limits for? If you don't have a limit when you don't have no permit. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so if you don't know, I'm saying you have no limit. There doesn't matter. You have to have a permit in order to be able to meet the to reach that even level of a decibel. You have that you have penal no code, sir? Sir, you can look it up. It's not my job to show it to you. It's my job to know the, the rules. So you need to make sure that you have a permit. You have I'll no turn it permit, down low. No, then you have to turn it off. Sir. It is against the law, sir. So let's go they, they got the music over there. You okay. telling me I can turn this down? Permit, sir. Come on. Where are we going? Let's go straight through. Where are we going? I'm not, I'm not. Listen, wait a minute. Time out. We're going that way. Ma'am, don't touch me. No, go with him. Okay. Go with him. Come on over here. We're, we're not trying to give you a hard time. But why are y'all touching me, man? Uh, I'm, I got my camera on, guys. Okay, that's fine. Ma'am, that's the second time you touched me. I didn't touch you. That was somebody else. Chief, so he's got no permit, so he, ha he can't use his amplifier. Listen, listen. We totally respect First Amendment rights. But it's freedom of rights. I, it is and these people are hitting me, they're not doing nothing about it. Then, okay, you, you, number one is, you, you, you got to have the sound permit for that. So I'll turn it off. How's that work? All right, that's fine. But, but I'm gonna still yell. Yeah. For, for, for your safety, uh -huh. for your safety, we gotta designate a free speech zone for you. Okay. For you to express your First Amendment rights. Okay, okay but well, let me ask you a question. They can have loud uh, things going on here, loud stuff like that. But you're telling me I can't talk hey, about that, it. That's, that's fine. You know what? Actually, I will make that Thank exception you. for you, right? But because he we, told me it was hold a penal code. I know it's not. So it is a city orders, right? But it's, we all it's we, not, hold on, hold on. What's your name, sir? Curtis. Curtis. Curtis, right? The goal is, you know what's our primary objective here, yes, is to sir. keep everyone safe. Absolutely. To ensure everyone has the right to express their First Amendment right. Absolutely. But safety has to be paramount. I agree with so you. So what's going to happen is... But I'm not going to go far from this crowd. Hey, look, right? I will take you to the point where you have an audience up further back, but you will have to a designated free speech all zone. Right. All right, no problem. All right. Sign two officer with this gentleman right there. Go to the free speech zone. Thank you. Make sure he has expressed his right, uh -huh. but away from everybody. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Is that going to be on that side? Yeah, on the oh. other side. Okay. It can, it can, it can Ma'am, okay. stop touch touching me. I did not touch you. You were getting close to touching me. Okay, all right. So just go to the old man. Put it right there. All right, we're not going nowhere. We're still going to be preaching. Hey, but you need to go on in. Hey, hey. Go on in. 
So you already told me I could, no? Well, hold up now, hold uh, up now. I will allow you, when, when you get to your free speech zone, I will make the exception, right? All right. Let's, all right, let's, all right I'll, let's, take, let's I'll turn it off right now, then. Let's have the mutual agreement here now, okay? All right. Let's you turn have it off to reciprocate now. that. I turned it off. Right, just tell me now. Get, I'll turn it there. off. I'm going to go to this free speech zone, and okay. I'm going to go all in right, here enough. And, and, and turn it back on. Okay, right, fair enough. But I'm still going to yell on the way out. That's my You can yell. Homosexuality is an abomination to the Lord. Y'all need to respect these officers. Respect these officers. Y'all gonna have to move. Come on, sir. Well, do it. Come on. Come on. Sir. I can ask for you, sir. I'm not touching you. I'm trying to ask for you. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on your side. <laughs> these people ain't on your side. Excuse me, excuse me. Coming through, coming through. All right. Where are we going? We're not going far from here. We're not going far from here. This is a public sidewalk. I could be anywhere I want to be on the public. Sir, I understand that. We get to choose the place. What's your badge number? I don't have a badge number. I'm what's your, Sergeant what's your, Gonzalez. Sergeant Gonzalez. Yes, gotcha. sir. You don't have an ID number? No, sir. You don't have an ID number? Time, place, and manner. Everybody got an ID number in the sock. Sir? You're not going to need to look up penal, I mean, the, the city There's, ordinance. The chief just put I you in your place. But if you want to sit All right. there, I'm telling you, city ordinance. All right, where are we going? Okay. We're going to go right up here. Where the chief at? We're going to go right up here. We're going to go right up here. So you're All right, still in right by the tree. View? Perfect. A little higher. No, a little bit by the fence. Sir, you're not going to tell me where I'm going to yes, stay Yes, sir. At. I can't choose time, place, and manner. Where's your, your uh, supervisor We'll there. meet over there. If you want where's to have him come back, I'll call him again. But Bring him over here, please. I want your supervisor. Okay, well, you're still moving over there. You're a tyrant. Okay, well, we're still moving over there. Okay. Come on, all the way back. Sir, don't touch all me. Way back. I did not touch you, sir. You, My camera is on as well. I'll go, I'm happy it is. Okay. I want your supervisor. Okay. And I want your badge number okay, that I have you didn't no give me. Number. I told you me. have an ID number. No, sir. What do you what, what number sergeant. do you go by? I go by Sergeant Gonzalez. Sergeant Gonzalez, that's yes, it? Sir. Yes, sir. All right. This fine with you? Yes, sir. Right here. Right here. This all right. is all your area. I'm gonna be filing a complaint on you. Okay, sir. Just I got my sure. lawyer. That's at the end of my life. I got her putting her hands on me okay. three times. Okay, my lawyer lived for that we stuff. We also have cameras on as well. I'm glad you do. Okay. Hopefully it's working. Okay. All right. The police tried to move me away from you. Oh, I gotta turn my thing back on. Hold on. Sir, uh, when you uh, can you get a supervisor over here, Mr. Roberts? Yeah, that's my supervisor. Oh, okay. Well, we need his supervisor here. Well, we need the chief over here again. Get, I need to file a complaint on you. Okay. Cause you lied. Okay. Um. All right. Hey guys. We back at this place. Homosexuality is an abomination unto the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Leviticus chapter twenty, verse thirteen. Everybody, get their Bibles out. And let me tell you something. I want to make this very clear to the police. I thank y'all very much for what y'all do. Is y'all need to respect the police and, 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 and treat them with respect as well. All right? They doing their jobs. And they protect us. Instead, this young lady right here who put her hands on me. Three times. I want to file a complaint on her and the other guy too. That lied to me. Where is he at? Sergeant. Sergeant Gonzalez. All right, y'all. Deuteronomy. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. 23, verse 17. Deuteronomy, chapter 23, verse 17. There shall thou be no whore of the daughters of Israel nor a sodomite the sons of Israel. Sodomite is someone who practiced sodomy, which is practicing anal sex. Anal sex is wrong. It's an abomination to the Lord. Some of these officers condone this mess. Especially this one probably over here that put their hands on me. Now I'm going to be filing a complaint on you Sir, are you a hot boss? She put her hands on me three times. Pushed me. I'm pretty sure she didn't mean to be one Well, either way, I don't like no woman touching me. You know what I'm saying? No man touching me. I just, I mean, that's respect for other people. I ain't did nothing wrong. I'm over here exercising my freedom of speech and sticking up for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hey, thank you, boss. I appreciate it.
but I don't appreciate putting the hands on me. I forgive you, young lady. We pray that you come to Jesus. All right. Leviticus. Hey, we over here now. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. Now we gonna, you know what? We're going to go to 1 Kings. 1 Kings chapter 14. 1 Kings chapter tw uh, 14 verse 24. And there were sodomites. And there were sodomites in the land. And they did according to the abominations. According to the abominations of the nation which the Lord cast them out before Israel. Next thing you know, you're going to end up in hell, burning, for your practicing your perverted sexual lust that goes against God. We're crying out to y'all. Wake up. Wake up. There ain't much time left. As you've seen the earthquakes, as you've seen the pestilence, the diseases, as you've seen the food shortages that are happening. It's all because of the Lord Jesus Christ coming back soon. You can flip me off all you want. We love y'all. I wouldn't be out here if I ain't love y'all. I'd be chilling over there at the beach somewhere. Not being harassed by Mr. Gonzalez and this young lady right over here. So sad. So sad the generation we living in. No God. You got kids out here dressing half naked like whores. What in the world is going on? What in the world is going on? God says a woman must dress modestly. Not out here showing your breast, showing your butt, showing your butt cheeks, all this stuff. It's not of God. Find Jesus Christ while you still got time. I appreciate it, sir. Sergeant, you got your supervisor coming or what? I am the supervisor, sir. I told you. I am Who is your boss? Uh, chief. Chief. I need to speak to the chief, chief please. Chief Bender is probably not going to make it right now, sir, because he's got COVID. That's your, that's your code when somebody asks for okay, your supervisor sir. or asks for your higher commander is to get your supervisor and get your chief. <laughs> this ain't that hard to understand. You gonna tell me that's a lie too, sir? And I now you two might not like me being out here. You young lady and this gentleman right here. They might not like it, but the other officer still respect it. But probably this one right here too, I can tell she she got a little bit of uh what you call it in her homosexuality spirit. Um We trying to live for the Lord. We're trying to live for the Lord Jesus Christ. You got to obey God. You got to be ye doers of the word, not just hearers only, deceiving yourself. Somebody told me they was a homosexual Christian earlier. What a liar. What a liar. Talking about his pastor is a homosexual and he a man dressed like a woman. This is crazy. This is truly crazy. Jesus saved them. Jesus opened up their hearts. Jesus guide them. Help them to see that homosexuality is an abomination unto the Lord. We love you. We love you young ladies and young men. I know more ex-homosexuals than I do real homosexuals. That tells you it's a spirit. It's a devil spirit that's entered through sin.